Hey y'all, welcome back to Fly After 50. No spaces. I'm your Fly Dog D, and I'm back with another video. Y'all, today I'm just playing in makeup. I'm using primarily Dinesa, Dinesa Myrick's products. So let's just play and see where we get. So I've already put my uh, toner on, my essence on, and my under eye cream. Now I'm going to go in with this Moisture Repair Balm Serum. It says Moisturizing and Repairing Balm Serum for Face and Body. Hmm. So this is one of her latest releases. Comes in her packaging like she has a lot of her other things. It has a scooper which I don't use and then this is the product. It is I have used it as you can tell. Looks, I mean, it's very pretty. <laughs> um, it feels like oils. It is very emollient. I'm gonna put that on my face. I really don't think this is for, I think this is mostly for uh, normal to dry skin or if you have dry patches on parts of your skin or something like that otherwise it can feel a little oily it's not heavy it feels good on my skin I love it I love the way it feels but that's not gonna be everybody's favorite thing you know what I'm saying <laughs> okay I'll let that sit in for a second Way. So while that's sitting, let's look at the other things I'm going to be using. After this sits for a little bit, I'm going to be using her Universal Blurring Balm. That's like a primer and also her Yummy Skin Glow Serum and Juice Boost. Those two together. So I'm going to use the balm first. Mm, that might be too much. I think this is all. I'm not going to use the glow boost because I think I got enough on my skin actually. So this is that. It almost feels a little gritty. Let that soak in. So how y'all? How y'all doing? I am um this is a day in the life of a stay-at-home wife and mother. Not much going on, not much to do. That's why I like to play in my makeup. All right, so so that is on. I'm not putting that glow boost on because uh, the goose boost. What is it called? <laughs> Juice boost. That would be too much. So my, my skin feels fine and ready for my foundation, but today I'm using her Danessa Meyer Beauty Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint. have mine in the shade 13. So I'm using this. This is the Nysa Myrix Beauty, her Yummy Skin Soothing Serum Skin Tint Foundation with Peptides and Ceramides. It has light coverage, fragrance free, has, has a radiant finish. It is a hydrating and smoothing skin care infused skin tint that provides light coverage and a skin like radiant finish. There we go. Now I'm going in with the Rare Beauty. Um, this is the under eye brightener. This is deep, so it's not gonna brighten anything, but you know what? I'm going with a regular concealer first and then go with that. So this is the uh, Lancome All Over Concealer. I don't even know if they make this anymore. All, all these, they're all changing and 
updating and all that. So I do know. So I'm putting these under my eye and on my lip because it is time. You know. It's that time again to shave the face. Let's blend that in. I'm going with the brightener, which is really just the same color. So if you want brightener, I would say go down. So if you're deep, go medium deep. If you're medium, go light. If you want this to truly brighten. Now we're going to use the Janessa Myrix Evolution Powder. I don't think I've even used this before. It's in 2.5. Nope, I have not. That is really on there. All right, it has a little, okay, a little net right there. Okay, I got the setting brush here. Dip, dip, dippy. set the all right so there's that there's that I'll be right back I'll come back with my eyebrows done okay I'm back with my eyebrows design now I'm gonna go into this uh, Danessa Myricks uh, is this contour or bronzer? I don't know. It doesn't say. I'm going to use a sponge. That mirror is too small. along the sides of my nose. And down the middle, if I can. Like that. Like this and like that and like that. Uh -huh. Like something like that. How does sound? Like this and like that and like this. Uh huh. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to go in with blush. I'm using her little Upslight brush and blushes. This is the one in Rose and Brunch. I'm gonna put it on my finger. It's very creamy. And put it on and then blend it out right with your sponge the other side. So that is pretty, okay? That is pretty. So I got that in there. Shoot. Precious powder. Then we're gonna go. I don't have any uh, cream or liquid highlighter from her, so I'm just gonna use her light work. Uh, what is this? I can't, I can't even read that. Light work volume. It's either one or two. I don't know. But uh, this glitter is throwing me all the way off. <laughs> so I'm going to Cappuccino right here. These are just beautiful highlighters, no glitter. Base of my eyeshadow, I'm gonna use her defining neutrals, the groundwork, and I'm gonna go into Mirage and put that as my eyeshadow base. Still the pomade one. So 
but I really like this one. I don't know if I'm gonna get her next one she has with those mauve shades. Because I'm like, this I could use for a lot of things. That is just, well, blush and lips, I guess. And the eye, I guess she could use it on the eye. Well, we'll see. All right, so that's on there. Now I'm gonna use her Forever Mist, the dewy one. It's a hydrating setting spray with their Hyaluronic Hydrating Complex. You can prep, set, and refresh with our Dewy Forever Mist for hydrating makeup seal. Shake well. All right, now for the eyes. Let me go get the eyeshadow. Okay, now we're about to do the eyes. I'm going to get the mattes out of the groundwork palettes. These, these, the powder ones in here. And the lid color shimmers, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to get it out of uh, Lightwork Volume 5, which is this one. And these are the colors. Okay, wipe this brush off. I'm going to Mirage. Right now, we're going to go into Bark for the outer V. Better go on the Tourmaline because that ain't dark enough. Alright, now we're going to go into Lightwork 4. I am going to use a brush and spray it so that I don't, hopefully, don't experience any fallout. Came off nicely. Let's spray it. To groundwork and deepen out the other the Z. Use this clean brush. I'm gonna go with enough and then evolving. That don't look like that will have any fallout, so let's do give it a try. This one. this one does not look as smooth and some braids I have. Okay, skin the out of V term line. Now I'm gonna go finish my eyes and I'll be right back. All right, my eyes are done. Now I'm going in with my lips. This is the only thing I have from Danessa Myers. Well, technically the groundwork palette can work on lips, but I will be using her uh, nudes. This is from the nudes collection. This is uh, hmm. I have to put it in here. I don't know. So I use the groundwork for lip liner lip liner let's see i use bark the pomade for a lip color but i do have a backup the lys lip color just in case it does not do what i 
want it to do. So I have this lip liner pencil thing. Lips, this is a lip brush. So let's go in the bark. That's a lip liner. Now I'm going to this one. Oh, here's a color. Nude 7. It's on the top. So I'm going to squeeze out a little bit of this on my hand. Here's the color. Um, that's kind of yellow. What I wanted was like a peachy nude. I'm going to sculpt it a little bit darker. Okay, so that's the color. Now I'm going to use a gloss. This is just a busy art gloss. Well, the only one I have. This is a shade Bignette. 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 So there's a color next to it. So I think that will look fine. But it's dry. Look at, look at my lips. It sinks into every line. Yikes. All right, this is my finished look. Well, that's it for this video. This is my final look. I really like the way it came out using Danessa Myrick's beauty products. I really appreciate her and, and the innovativeness that she brings to beauty. It's really cool to see. But yeah, y'all, that's it for this video. Just a little distraction from the day's worry, you know? Well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And until I see you in another one, stay fly, sis.